Hi, my name is Anna Karin. I'm 46 years old. I live in a house close to the ocean in the north of Sweden with my husband and my three daughters. This is my surgical story. For nine years ago, I drove in a hotel together with my family. I worked more than full time. I was an active, healthy person who loved my life and enjoyed going to work every day. One day at work in September 2009, my whole life suddenly changed. I was hit by my car when it started to rolling towards the river. I was hit into the ground and lost consciousness. And I damaged my neck and brain. I started to have constant dystonia and pain in my head, neck, shoulder, arm and leg on my right side. I also got walking balance and vision problems, nausea and vomiting, taste and smell disturbance, right-sided facial praises, lively reflexes and Babinski sign. During the years my problems became worse and I had seizures several hours a day. I had difficult breathing problems and I couldn't speak normal. My oxygen was dropped to very low levels and I used to lose consciousness. Me and my family tried to get help for several years in Sweden, but the orthopedists and urologists at my hospital refused to help me. Once, my family had to send me unconscious with an ambulance to the hospital. After 46 days at the hospital, I was told that nothing was wrong in my neck. It was all in my head, I was crazy. And I was driven home by an ambulance in a worse condition than ever. I told my family had to take care of me 24 hours a day. My husband had to rent oxygen, helping me to survive the seizures. And when my breathing problems became worse and I stopped breathing several times a day, I also had to buy a CPAP to help me breathe in. During my fight to survive, I was helped and examined by some wonderful doctors with a great experience of neck and brain injuries. They all told me that something was wrong with my neck and my central nervous system. Without those doctors, me and my family haven't been able to handle the difficult situation we had. I contacted Dr. Gileta eight years after my accident. First I had an internet consultation and he told me what he thought was wrong. It was decided that I was going to Barcelona for a clinical examination and having a 3D CT scan. The examinations confirmed his suspicions and it was decided that I was going to have a posterior stabilization of the whole cervical spine during axial traction. Yeah, let's go. Can you speak just to, to, to yes, check? I can speak. Okay. And then the difference? Now, but ah, yeah, the eye. Yes, I you can. recover the eye and yes. ah. I can open my eye and I can speak almost normal. I think so. Yeah. You, you yeah. recognize yeah. my voice. It's the same. It's normal. So it's fi between fifteen and twenty. 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 It's twenty. Two days before the surgery, I got a halo wedge screwed into my skull during traction of my head. This treatment decompresses the brain steam and makes me able to breathe and speak normal. The day of surgery I felt completely calm and safe. I knew that Dr. Gillette, Dr. Oliver, Dr. Bravo and their team would do everything they could to help me.
One day later, I woke up with a stiff neck than before, but full of faith for a better life together with my wonderful family. Four days after the surgery, the doctors took off the halo vest and I felt the big relief that I now was able to breathe and speak normal without it. Out. out. Everything out. Oh, that's great. It's wonderful. How do you feel? I feel stiff. Stiff. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't feel any change. No, no, no. So that's good. No, no changes in breathing. No. That's no. good. And the, the, the voice used to be different immediately if, if something would be changed. Oh, okay. <clears throat> What a relief. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. I could also stand and walk normal again. I felt an indescribable gratitude to Dr. Gilleta and Dr. Oliver for believing in me and having the courage to deal with my damaged cervical spine. You were saying that uh, you, were in, uh, you were evaluated as a psychiatric uh, person. Yeah. Yeah, and it was very hard to, to hear that you are crazy when you know you are not crazy, something is wrong with you and the neck, and um, nobody is not. Neither me or my family have ever before been treated with the kind of respect that Dr. Gillette and Dr. Oliver gave us. They have been professional and shown the skills and experience of cervical spine injuries we didn't believe were found somewhere in the world. Hi Dr. Oliver and Dr. Gillette. I'm so happy that you saved my life. I can be outside here with my family walking around the ocean. And that's all thanks to you. Thank you very much, you are my heroes. Now it's more than one year after the surgery and I still have problems with dystonia and pain because of my injuries and nerve damages after several years without treatment. But I am alive thanks to Dr. Tillete and Dr. Oliver and their team at Techman Hospital and also thanks to my amazing family. Thank you for saving my life and struggling with me. I love you all. <laughs>